Hello friends, today we shall see fast charging zinc coated aluminum carbon batteries with the modified electrolyte. I have modified the electrolyte and also I am going to use double carbon though this will be a type 2 when compared to my previous one already I have shown that also still running. This is the procedure and steps we are going to take to prepare this zinc coated aluminum carbon batteries with added electrolyte modified electrolyte. Same I will I will be using any any can spray cans are there I am going to cut this spray cans and uh, same I coated well with zinc you can see inside zinc is being coated for more shelf life that is why. And here I am going to use a double carbon insert into the nylon filter mesh so that the context will improve that's what I am thinking we have to do it practically and find out. I am also with you to see what is the difference in modifying this. Okay, friends, for your information, this same zinc coated aluminum battery was prepared on 210, still running. Just for your information, showing because they are all fast charging and more shelf life. Though it is aluminum can, since it is coated with zinc. You can able to see. See, 210 have done it, but still, it's able to maintain as if it is new. If I charge it, it comes to 2.1 volt ampere, exceeding 300 milliamperes. So, just I want to reveal this to you. So, let us start step by step from can other things. I'll be showing it. Here, I'll be filling this nylon bag with this carbon black manganese and equal amount of manganese dioxide manganese carbon black and graphite. I am going to fill it step by step as I was doing in the previous video for type 1. I will be doing it you can also see it and the required electrolyte will be equal here zinc sulphate I am going to use and zinc chloride which I was not using in the type 1 zinc coated aluminum battery. So, I am going to use zinc chloride probably this will give you more amperage, ampere and long shelf life also along with manganese little amount of manganese sulphate I am going to use it this was just uh, information for jellifying agent I will be using this guar gum the, this will be uh, you already knowing step by step I will show you. Let us start by filling this nylon bag with the electrolyte. I have filled this now bag, I now filled this bag, I will see that I slowly tie this on the top, so that it does not get contact when it is in the battery cell, it should not get loosed or torn out, I will slowly tie it, see that I have now tied it, I have tied it using a same a strong twine thread, I made this electrode the positive electrode with a double now we have to make the electrolyte mix the electrolyte that I will show you now. So, the electrolyte here I have already taken weighed this is 10 grams of zinc chloride in 25 ml of uh, distilled water this is 3 molar zinc chloride this is also 3 molar zinc sulphate this is also 10 grams in 20 ml of distilled water zinc sulphate similarly 0.15 gram manganese sulphate dissolved in 10 ml of water all this I kept ready so that I can make it fast for you. So, I am going to mix all these three solutions in right in front of you and use as the electrolyte all the three I am going to mix it. So, three I have mixed it now right using guar gum. So, before that what I will do is for our sake we can do one thing I just uh, put it in a measuring cylinder a small amount I will put small amount uh, this el this electrode positive electrode I will put it here because in soaking this becomes wet and I am active so that the time consumed for activation of the cell will be reduced let it be here the remaining we can go for jellyfying it. 
out of practice we can add otherwise you have to weigh some 0.18 grams and then you have to add it. We can use any plastic material to jellyfy than putting any metal spoons always better. More jellyfying agent also will reduce the conductance of the electrolyte. So, you cannot expect more amperes. The passage of the electrons will be reduced by more jellyfying. So, it is should be appropriate level. So, I think I can remove this guar gum. This is a guar gum which I made for us to use it as electrolyte. This is a modified electrolyte when compared to type 1 zinc coated aluminum batteries because it contains now zinc chloride this also gives you better volt and amperes all these are all ionic compounds ionic material so they give more electrons passage so better volt so let us now see the step 2 this is now ready we can we can use this we can pour this gel and see that it is it is wetted well with this you can use now spoon what to do we have to use hand is not advisable on the long run it will dry our hands it's not advisable You see the gel? This gel, what is the use is, it will keep intact those water for longer shelf life. Without gel, water has a tendency to volatilize itself, depending on the temperature of the surrounding, it will volatilize easily. So, gel keeps them in intact for longer shelf life. So, that is the advantage of gel. Plus, it can be the batteries can withstand when it is tilted without any spillage of the ultralight. So, I think now we added enough, we added enough ultralight, you able to see it, we shall start doing it. S slowly, we will see that this is wrapped with this. If it is excess, we need not take it into account, we can just so, so already I have done, we will slowly insert this material into this zinc coated aluminum cans, we can insert slowly. able to see see that it is the whole the electrolyte with the gel and the acrylic fiber gets properly settled into the battery can see that the the positive and negative should not get in contact with each other because there will be self discharge then so of no use so, this is all very important. When on preparing, you have to be all sufficiently take care for all this. Now, for uh, safety's sake, I have cut uh, this uh, what you call spray can stop. No, the top cap is there. I have through heat, I have cut it like this so that these two carbons settle in directly just at least finishing it looks so finishing that is why little finishing is there then later on we can press it i think we have done it now we have to see the volt now we shall see the volt what is generating now still it is very 
uh, once you get saturated still better volt will get this will be the negative I have scratched the aluminum can outside. So, I place this and we will see what is the voltage. So, at present it is generating 1.5. So, we, we shall see the ampere also. We see we shall see the ampere also. It is exceeding 250 milliamperes at present. So, this gives a better uh, ampere as to my knowledge by increasing the carbon volume or carbon electrode since two carbon electrode have placed it. So, at the very instant it is able to give more than 250 milliamperes. So, this is an advantage on using double carbon for this batteries. Even zinc chloride will give you better cycles that we can see after charging it. So, you can be able to see it is exceeding 250 milliamperes. If you want I can see oh nearly good exceeding 400 milliamperes 400 milliamperes it is giving ok friends we will test with the motor also. Nice. It is running fast, running fast. So, you can able to see friends. So, this time I use zinc chloride as the one of the electrolyte added plus instead of one single carbon I use double carbon. So, this gives you a instant uh, high volt ampere 1.5 volt is there ampere also exceeding 250 we saw nearing 500 milliamperes. So, on charging definitely it will be still be better I can charge you and also show you they are all instant charging cells self, more shelf life also I will show you. On charging just for uh, not even 10 seconds I have charged it, we will see what is the volt, we will see what is the volt. It is maintaining. One point five three. Okay, friends. So this time, this type two is with more double carbon and zinc chloride electrolyte being added extra. If you like, press the like button, give your comments so that I can still show better uh, improved batteries for you. Kindly subscribe. This gives you me what you call boosting blood for me to do more projects and show to you, friends. Thank you, friends.